Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So last episode what we worked on was we got the um this building particular particularly done. So we got um some of the parts done. This is our Bowers uh building. Now I moved that from this particular building right here. And we can actually move the sign, I think. Oh, we already have a sign there. Okay. So we don't need to move the sign. But um, basically, I just moved all the storage and stuff from this particular one over to the other one, which is a little bit bigger. It gives us a little bit more um, room to build and stuff like that and manufacture things for trading and stuff like that. So got our short bows. We got long bows here. And these ones over on the side are for our own people. So basically anything that is good or above are placed on that one. And then we have one for one station for deconstructing bows. So basically any bows that we don't have that are under, uh, what was it, uh, 99 hit points, we're basically going to go ahead and scrap those. And anything that is basically um, in this particular list, we're going to create these. So we're going to need to start making some crossbows, I think. I'm sure some of our settlers can actually do that. So we're going to need to go ahead and create some of these uh, mechanical components for that. So we're going to tell them to do that. That's going to cost, what is it going to cost? Some metal items. So we're going to go ahead and just select iron for that. And we're probably going to use, I don't know if we have sticks here nearby. It doesn't look like we actually have sticks nearby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sticks in here. Because I think a lot of this stuff will, yeah, a lot of this stuff requires sticks. So uh, what do we have here? That's materials. Are we just out of sticks? Oh, that's limestone bricks. Okay. So yeah, we're going to need... Um, pile for that. I'm going to just set this to high priority and then we're going to go ahead to raw materials and select sticks and that will allow us to have uh, fuel here so they don't need to keep running around and I'm just going to make sure that all this is set up. Yeah that looks good. Long swords, good. And then we have scrapping material. So all this seems to be in check. Um, I'm not sure what this is actually set up for.
All right, so I started working on this particular section of wall. So we're I'm doing it about in two groups. So basically I have like one section that we got when well, we got these three sections done last winter. And then I got this done yesterday for this section here. And then I've just been putting up like a temporary wall uh, that we can basically go ahead and um, make sure no other animals get into our particular place. So everything save, stays fine. Now I noticed that when I was doing this other wall, some foxes and stuff uh, snuck past and uh, ate some bushes and stuff like that. So I didn't want that really to happen with... Um, putting our other animals at risk, especially with how big the area is. And there's a lot of places without torches, like the farm area and way back here and stuff like that. So um, I didn't want uh, any of our dogs to get hurt if a wolf or whatever got snuck past. But um, basically, I just want to put up a barrier wall just temporarily. Uh, we'll be tearing that down uh, once we get the outer wall built. And the way that we have it situated, um, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, we just build that initial back wall first. And then we can go ahead and um, basically build up the um, second floor. And as long as that part gets finished, whenever, we can, <laughs> whenever somebody gets around to it. I'm not sure if anyone's assigned to it at the moment. My info. Um, doesn't say anyone's going for it. Someone might be, though. I don't know. Probably this person. Uh, harvesting animal. Can you... Oh, it's already assigned to somebody. Okay. Ah, there they are. Perfect. All right. So once this is built, we'll be able to uh, put up that temporary wall. Get that destroyed. And we'll start putting in that... Or not temporary wall, the permanent wall. And what I'll do is basically assign or adjust the detail work for this and just do what I've been doing with the um, other wool sections like that and that will allow us to um, basically put that other part in I think I've used the um, brick wall part here as well and once we get that uh, all torn down, we'll be able to um, build the other part in here. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for some builders. Some of them might be um, on their way. Hauling the sock.
Alright, so I'm going to start working on a seed vault, which we'll put over on this side right here. Uh, this is right next to our farm, so it should be pretty close to um, where we need the actual farms and stuff to be planted. So I think this will be a good location for it, I think. And then we're going to need another one, I think, over here somewhere. Uh, we'll probably dig down under one of the... Um, under one of these things just so we can um, get uh, the tree the saplings and stuff stored there and giving that what I've learned with the stone bricks and stuff like that I think it would be pretty good to encase it with like something like this because this is actually holding out pretty darn good so we'll probably try doing that um, eventually I want to do that for the food storage as well and other things like this that would probably be more perishable so uh, we'll eventually upgrade all this and I figure what we'll end up doing is with the uh, the kitchen I've cleaned out this area here because we don't really need that spot anymore that's where we had the trees we had the farms along here before and I'm thinking about um, making the building a little bit bigger and maybe an L shape or something like that. I'm not sure just yet what direction. Probably do it this direction. And that will give us a lot more cooking space. And then above what we can do is, I don't know, like maybe remove that awning part there. And then we can do kind of like a um, upper loft area for a dining room or something like that. And then what we could have is over on this side uh, we could have, or we could even put the brewery on this side, I'm not sure just yet. But this is kind of out of the way. We might be able to do that. Uh, if we put the kitchen over on there, then that's going to interfere with our food storage, I think. So... Probably going to want to move the food storage more down for the entrance. And dig more out this way. I'm not sure just yet, actually. So we'll, we'll hold off on that. We might be, make it even a separate area outside. Um, an entrance and something like that. I have to figure out what I'm going to be doing with this section right here. Because this is directly uh, above the... Um, yeah, all this, these three parts right here are directly above the plot where we're going to be putting the kitchen. So it needs to be figured out. Uh, so it doesn't spoil as fast, but we'll work on that later. Alright, so we got some great news. Uh, our bard is now level 3. Uh, we have a perfect house for basically that kind of, those kinds of roles. So 
Um, I got wardrobe, and apparently the requirements are all the same for doing that, like upgrading it. So they don't like um, unskilled labor. They don't like animal hubbardry or handling. They don't like melee or range damage. So a lot of the things that they can't do are basically the uh, urgent haul or the hauling, uh, stewarding. They can't do crafting, even though that it says... Um, what do you call it? Like there's no thing on there. It's still considered unskilled later labor. Um, animal husbandry is completely out of the question. As so is fishing and hunting, as well as um, well, obviously hauling. So it basically leaves everything else that they can work on when they're not doing the bard thing. So um, they do. This particular person is compassionate about mining and constructing and carpentry. So. Those are a few of the benefits. So I think that's pretty good for that particular person. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to use them for combat or anything like that. Um, we might even want to um, change their outfit so it's more recognizable for their gear. And we might go with like leather or something less heavy so they can easily get away um, if they're in danger or whatever. But... Um, because the heavy armor and stuff that we currently have on, I think we have like, yeah, we have male armor, so, um, well, male helmet, and then we got, um, light armor here. So yeah, we're probably going to want to, um, make them a little bit more unique and start working on outfits and stuff like that so we can identify the people a little bit more, but... That'll be a little bit in the future. Uh, I am working on a house for another settler, so settler will have the up upper floor for the um, part up here, and then down on the first floor we'll have some sort of um, kind of building for either crafting or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting in here just yet, but um, I want to utilize that space for something else. We might even do that for like a multi-level housing dormitory i'm not sure just yet but that's basically what i'm starting to work on outside of that uh we got the seed vaults mostly done we still need to mine down a little bit further and place some more stairs and stuff like that and then we'll be working on that next episode but if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out